Hey guys, my name is Nate, and I'm the Outdoor Outdoorsman. And today, me and Cassie are hiking uh, the Blue Hills, doing the Red Dot Trail. The uh, Milton entrance, which is by the Trailside Museum. It's a super popular trail. Um, one I've been hiking pretty much my entire life. Um, I figure I'll show you some sights on it. Give you guys a view. But we're doing it to get a quick little hike in. It's just four miles. So. It's pretty heavily walked, but if you're in the area, you're ever looking for a quick trail, it's actually a pretty good one to hike. So. You get a really good view of Boston from it. So. Let's continue on. It's just a small group, but this trail gets really busy. So if you like, if you don't like crowds, this this trail is really not for people. But it's it's a nice trail. It's worth a view, at least doing it once. Um, we're doing it kind of just to get the exercise in. But it's it's steep and it's short and it's overpopulated. But. So generally not the trails I like, but it's fine. Definitely, definitely fine. But nevertheless, it's pretty. So if you ever run Boston, it's just south of Boston, maybe about 40 minutes, 30 minutes, depending on traffic. Well, depending on traffic, it could be either 15 or 40, 50 minutes. So. What's up? I turned the road for a second. Oh, okay. And I thought I lost the trail for a second, but I didn't. Yeah. It's mostly just following this road. Yeah, there's a marker right there on yeah. the side of the tree. Most of the markers are like this, just painted on markers. Uh, makes the green trail really hard to follow. You can lose it, and I have numerous times, which is fine. So I always say bring a map and compass. Which I don't think I brought a map or a compass. Well, I brought a map. I don't know if I brought a compass. We have a group coming up. One of the parts is you will find uh, roads on occasion on this trail. Not a big deal. It actually leads up to a weather observatory, which I've been to when I was younger. It was cool. But if you don't like running into roads, parts of this trail may not be up to you. It's a bit of a bit of nature and a bit of ur urbanization. A lot of nature and a bit of urbanization. We're not far from the summit. It's like two miles up, two miles down. Not that bad. It's mostly just rocks. What? And vines. And vines. Well, roots. Sorry. <laughs> it's mostly rocks, erosion barriers, and vines. And roots and sometimes some downed sticks so it's not too bad you also run to the occasional group of people with dogs <sighs> so we took the less exciting way up to the summit which is which has a smoother gradient up, which is fine. Um, we kind of need it because we've been, uh, due to various reasons, haven't been able to get out that much. Scheduling, health. Um, so we got a little out of shape and our stamina went down, so we're 
having to rebuild it back up. Partially while, it's partially while we're out. So there's two ways to the summit. There's one which is a slow gradient up, and there's one that's like super, super steep. Um, like most of the way up. And generally speaking, I take the one that has like a super straight, has a super straight up one for the up, and then I take the gradient down. But we're doing the opposite. By accident, I didn't look at the map, I kind of just chose the side and went with it. It's been years since I've taken this path. I think literally, I think it has to be maybe three years. Be mostly because last time I took this trail specifically was when me and Cassie started dating. Uh, <laughs> so, it's like one of our first few dates, actually. Um, so, but we went up the harder side. Also, it was a lesson for you in stamina. Yes. <laughs> it was. Yeah, so years ago when we did this trail, I was basically jumping on all the rocks and trying to go up the hill as fast as humanly possible. And by the time we got to the top of the summit, I was exhausted. <laughs> Long story short, now she's learned a trick in conserving stamina. And pacing. And a thing in pacing. So we now take our time when we hike, and she takes her time when she walks. <laughs> so. so this was a happy accident of a of this hike that we took the, the lighter way up. We'll take the steep way down, which is why I have poles. So. Bring you guys back when we're at the summit, because we're pretty much there. So, how I said the easy gradient. Uh, one of the things I forgot to mention is soon after the easy gradient, is you actually do get a little bit of a steeper portion, which is this. So, even though it's an easy gradient, doesn't mean it's easy. It just gets you higher up. Ugh, not as much work. So, just a quick heads up. But on the way, up, you can see a lot of cool things. There's a lot of high bush blueberry. Pine. <sighs> a lot of cool plants. A lot of cool different things you get to see. <sighs> well, it's a quick hike, so you know, we don't really get to see too much. <sighs> but, get focused on not tripping. Arr! Dun 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 Sorry, bad dude. We're at the summit. We're at the observation tower. It's pretty cool. You actually get a pretty good view of Boston here. So. We're gonna take a break here, maybe go to the top. I'll show you guys. It's okay, I'll grab him in a second.
I didn't record much up at the tower because it was crowded. I didn't record much up in the tower because same reason. It's really crowded up there. I plan on trying to get back up there at some point on a day when it's not as crowded, which means I'll have to go up there on a weekday. But because something I want to do up there. But yeah, a lot of tourists up there. But what we'll do, get to move on. And now we see Cassie attempt to go down a rock cliff that would have been easier if we went a different route. She attempts. She puts her pull into a position. She now puts it into another position. She slides. She puts it into another position. And she continues to slide down and she mistakes the landing! Yay! Your turn. Nope, I'm gonna go the easy way. Da da dee doo doo doo. Work smarter, not harder, as I always like to say. There was an easier path over here. I noticed halfway while she was going down. <laughs> yeah, so we decided to take the, the steeper way down because it's shorter than the less steep way that goes up. Also hoping that it's getting later in the day, because this was kind of a last minute trip. Um, but we're gonna see less people. Yay! Hard to kind of see, but it's partially where we came down from, but it, it continues up, up and up. But I mean, as I said, it's not, it's not super steep. But it's steep enough that if you went up that way, that it'd be tough if you're not super in shape or new to, if you're new to hiking, it could be steep enough. And the plane just went over. I'm going to tell you this. If you don't like planes in nature, not a good place to hike. You're near Boston and, well, Logan Airport's nearby. Hiking anywhere in Massachusetts, you're going to hear planes constantly. It's almost impossible to get get away from them. <sighs> They're pretty much a fact of life here. And it's out of trains. Planes, trains, and automobiles. All sounds you're going to hear. Want to get rid of them? You have to go up to New Hampshire or ugh, very far western Mass. become less steep we kind of hit the worst of it now we're almost out almost to the end I would sing that song the end is new but fortunately copyright issues so internally play that in your head or decide to put that on or don't I don't dictate your life. <laughs> Anyways, enough of the ramblings of a madman. Let's continue hiking. Ugh. Usually we hike up these, you know, hiking down them.
uh, the Trailside Museum is in sight, and we're pretty much going to wrap it up here. Um, I may take some clips of the Trailside Museum if we decide to stop in there one more time on the way out, because I always love stopping at the outside exhibits, because I'll be going there again since I was a kid. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much where we're going to wrap. Um, our legs are sore. We're getting a little bit hungry. I am. I'm sure the hunger will hit me, like, as soon as we hit the car. Yeah. We've had a bobo bar, and then we've had breakfast today. That's a late breakfast, but... It's about 3.30 in the afternoon. Yeah, so, so we're probably going to be hungry soon. Um, but, so, we're going to head out soon. Um, but yeah, we're towards the bottom. But yeah, definitely, if you're in the area, check out this trail. It's always a good, it's always a good hike, despite the crowds. I'm not big on crowds, but if you don't mind them, it's a good, it's a good one. That's why I rarely hike this trail. <laughs> why I rarely come here. Um, some of the other trails are actually really good. There's a lot of good trails here. Some of the other ones are, give you a little bit more solitude. Um, but yeah. See you guys soon. Get outside, have fun. See everyone. Oh, there's another one up there too. Where? There's one there. there.